We want to graph this polar equation, so first of all we're going to graph it in a rectangular coordinate system and then we're going to go over here and graph it in a polar coordinate system. So let's see what we have. Our period's going to be 2 pi, so we're going to go 1, 2, 3, and the fourth one's going to be 2 pi, so the middle's pi, so this is pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2. It looks like we're only going to go as high as 1 and as low as negative 1, except we have a vertical shift, so we're going to move our baseline up 1, and then at 0, normally the sign is 0, but everything shifted up 1, and then the negative makes it reflected, so we're going to go down to the min first, and then cross, and then up to the max, and then back to cross. So it's going to look like this. So as we go put that on our polar graph, let's do the first piece of that right here. So at 0, we're going to start at 1. I'm going to put that out here. Here's 1. And then by the time we get to pi halves, we are going to go to 0. So we're going to decrease around and go to 0 by the time we hit pi halves. Now looking at this next piece, when we get from pi halves, to pi, we're going to go up, be out here at 1 again. So we're going to increase till we get here to 1. And now looking at this next piece, from pi to 3 pi halves, we're going to increase to 2. So when we get over here to 3 pi halves, and actually I should make those a little bigger since I made the 1 so big. Whoops, lost the whole thing. Let's just put the rest of that in there again. Let's go out one, two. And so we need to get out here at two. So I'm going to be swinging around out at two. And then we can see the last piece to get to two pi, we go back to one. So we drew us a nice little cardioid.